What's up guys, my name is Andrew, welcome back to Software Inc. Today is time for episode 10. <laughs> Today is time for episode 10, how awkward can I be? Welcome to episode 10. Last episode, we made this super awesome, big, gigantic office that might be a little bit too big for us, but uh, have no fear. We'll somehow fill out the space and such. We, last episode, we did all this. So we made the break room and the meeting room and the kitchen and et cetera, et cetera, all this stuff here as well. So this episode, I want to do this stuff, which is going to be the canvas 2D room. Um, also, I kind of want to see how, see how there's lots of tracks here that we don't really like. I also kind of want to make a little maintenance area so that maintenance people can hang out uh, and, and then we can have we can hire more maintenance people so that we, they don't have to be like sitting on the couch like they always do or whatever Jesus this is it's so dirty yeah we need to hire way more people uh, finally I, I want to work on a little bit of the lobby because our lobby is looking it's just too big it's just too bare we, we need something and I don't think this game offers very much in the way of and it's probably mods for it but very much in the way of uh, stuff that you can put to line the walls like little waterfalls or little cool little stuff kind of like a hotel lobby would have but um i think we're gonna have to make do with what we have here to try and make it so that this doesn't look as open because it's a little bit it's a little bit crazy you walk in and it looks like uh, no one lives here because there's nothing there but uh, the other thing we want to do is want to actually start work on the next iteration of canvas 3d and also the next iteration of canvas 2d which last iteration was canvas direct uh, which was the movie version of it it's already got a lot of users and you know I think our, our uh, support or our users for 3D Pro is actually starting to dwindle at this point, which makes me a bit surprised. No, maybe it's just starting off. Yeah, it must be just starting off because you have a lot of fixed bugs. You don't have as many fixed bugs. That could be that could be what it is. Meanwhile, we're researching video codec with all of our researchers on floor number two over here. Uh, half of them aren't there. I, I wonder why. Maybe it's their vacation or something, but hopefully we actually get that. So let's start work on trying to get people into this place. Actually, uh, let's let's get the maintenance closet first because this is actually bothering me. So we're going to make a little maintenance closet probably right here in this little sector. By the way, I've decided that I think I want this whole area. Well, not the whole area, but like we'll cut it in like different groups, kind of like we've done over here. Uh, but I think I want this area to be kind of the marketing sector. So the marketing the marketing group would be here. Uh, and there'd be lots of desks and that sort of thing. And then maybe on the other side of this, we could have uh, the QA, which we currently have over here as, as a very small little office. Is our like there's only one person working QA right now, but we'll have more people. So let's let's get a maintenance closet. And I th I think it's gonna be kind of simple for the maintenance closet. We're not gonna do too much. It's just gonna be kind of like, well, it's it's gonna be enough that they can like chill, right? But it's not gonna be too much. We're gonna have a, a couch in there. And I wish I can I can I tell it that it's a maintenance closet limit room usage to yeah i don't think i can do that unfortunately but uh but yeah this will be the maintenance closet it's gonna be a, a, like a oops what do we do oh we went up floors okay we're gonna have a door here so let's do we have a door i want a kind of a standard door like a boring because it is a maintenance closet after all it's not like it's not something crazy so we're gonna have a uh, a lounge here so they could like chill when they're not working so i'm thinking like something like this have a little thing right there and we'll have a couple more over here Maybe one like this. And then we'll give them a TV as well. Do we have TVs? We do not have TVs quite yet. But maybe a bookshelf just in case they're not uh, doing anything. And then also we'll go down here grab one of these little end tables. Can we use this one? That looks actually kind of cool. And can we grab a little lamp to stick on that? I don't know if we have lamps that go on tables. Tables. Voice crack there. Tables. But uh, <laughs> we'll give them a server. Let's give them a little server. Where are our servers? Here. Have a server, guys. <laughs> no, no. We're not going to give them a server. It's too loud. We'll give them a fan. Obviously, you always got to have a fan. We'll give them a light. I'm thinking one of these, where is it? This one. I like these lights. Stick that right there. And this is a pretty solid maintenance closet, I think. It, it should have more stuff, but like, let's, okay, let's put bookshelves here. Let's put more bookshelves. And here's what we'll do. We're gonna imagine that these bookshelves are like maintenance shelves with like cleaning supplies on them and stuff. So like, cause they're not right now, but <laughs> let's imagine that they are. Oops, that's, that's a weird direction. Let's delete this one and put this one facing that way. Yeah, so imagine these are like little maintenance shelves and not bookshelves. So they would come in here, they'd grab a cleaning supply uh, for like a stain that they found. And then this is, yeah, that's how they would do that. So I wish I could say that this is the like only the maintenance room here, but whatever. Should we give them a vending machine? Why not? Have a vending machine, guys. Um, I want to limit this room usage though. Like, I, I, I don't think I can, but I want to. Because otherwise, I think... Can I switch teams? No. 
I think people are gonna start like trying to use uh, this this equipment here, so they'll be coming in it, coming in the room and stuff. But whatever, I think it'll be fine. Let's give them a clock as well, a little wall clock. We'll stick it above there, and that's looking like a pretty solid maintenance room. Maybe maybe a, a cha like one of these somewhere. Just a little little desk. Okay, that's pretty good. All right, next thing, let's actually give them a heater as well. It might be hot, you never know. It might be hot, it might be cold, so we gotta give them both, you know? And I think that's going to be good. So let's back out of here, and let's hire a couple more maintenance people. We wanna hire maintenance staff, we wanna hire cleaning. Uh, and then we currently have one, but we'll hire another one as well. Can I bring you down? I want you guys to be together. But I feel like uh, it's fine, I guess. So we have two cleaning people. Let's hire a third, I think. We're gonna hire a third cleaning person. Just because I really want this place to be clean and currently it's not being cleaned. <laughs> so we're gonna hire that many cleaning people. Actually, what's their schedule? Cause it does tell me the schedule, 10 to, or eight to 12, but we work longer than eight to, eight to 12. So I think you're gonna be our eight to 12. You're gonna be our, you'll come in kind of in the middle. So if we go up a little bit, let's 10 to 14 and you'll be 12 to 16 so that should cover the entire day of cleaning so we have 8 to 12 10 to 14 and 12 to 16 they're overlapping so that they shouldn't always um they should always have someone else there kind of all right that's looking pretty good so we've got this little maintenance closet let's work on on this building and you know since we've done this so many times making little cubicles i think i'm gonna do it really quickly so give me a second and we'll be right back welcome back and here's our new canvas 2d room <laughs> i designed it oops what did i do I designed it quite a bit like I designed the other room over here. Uh, it's got lots of bigger cubicles. And once again, I, I said it before, and I, I'll say it again. I like this idea because in the real environment, you're not given, when you're a coder, you're not given this small little desk, typically. You're usually given like a, a bigger desk, something that's a little bit, maybe more like this, or at least that's how it was at, uh, where I worked. So, uh, so, so you get like a bigger desk and you'd have room to... Like you can write on things if you need to, like you have paper, you can write on stuff. And that's very good for coders because you can like, you can jot down your thoughts and that sort of thing. Whereas when you're so cramped like this, you have a lot of trouble working on stuff. So, so the idea here is that this would be like a full time, all the full time people would have desks like this. Maybe these two people would be working together on a project. Uh, well, technically they're all working together on a project, but maybe these two are like both in charge of something and these are both in charge of something else. But uh, then these people would be like maybe interns or something and you can see that they're a little bit closer to the office the main office as well So the guy can keep keep an eye on what they're doing make sure they're not goofing off or anything like that Whereas the full-time people they're expected to be doing what they're doing now <laughs> I will say I didn't mean for that to be a thing, but it was kind of an accidental design that I like so uh, We've also got a little server room in here, and this is called uh, the if we go out of our if we get our HUD back, we can look at our servers. This is our dev main server. So this server, little server farm here, uh, is actually way bigger than the other ones because these are newer servers. 15 gig gigabits, gigabytes per second, uh, as opposed to 200 megabytes per second. But um, but yeah, this would be used between both of these teams would use the dev main server. So these this is just a dev server. And then we have another server that would be not for devs, but for for uh, for other companies that could rent out. So this is our just our dev server here. Uh, and I think... That's gonna be good. Oh, we have a little lounge area as well. They don't have a TV or anything since TVs aren't unlocked. I don't think we'll add a TV either. Maybe we will, we'll see. But uh, but for now, it's just kind of a room where you can, like if you're like you're a Java programmer, maybe you need to learn JavaScript or something like that. You go over here, grab a little JavaScript book, sit down, read it a little bit. Good, you, you now know JavaScript. That's how, that's how coding works. That's how learning works. All right, but, uh, but yeah, that's looking pretty solid right there. Let's speed up time. I wanna go to the next day and see if all this stuff gets cleaned because I, it's really bothering me that's so messy come on where are you guys where are the cleaners oh let's you know what while we're here let's uh let's migrate the other team so we want to take this team right here off or this room off of this team oh it wasn't even on it okay well we're gonna set this oh they're already here wow okay so can i switch team to camp canvas 3d no no this is our canvas 2d room isn't it unless this is our canvas 2d room oh shoot so this is our canvas 3d room <laughs> oops Okay, this is our Canvas 3D room, why not? I thought this was our Canvas 3D room, but I guess this will be our Canvas 3D room. Let me just make sure again. Canvas 2D, yeah, you're Canvas 2D, okay. So then you are Canvas 3D? Yeah. All right, okay, well, I guess I forgot what we did last episode. I could have sworn that I made this the Canvas uh, two, the Canvas 3D, and then this was the Canvas 2D. But it's okay, because uh, what are you working on, actually? Are you are you guys working on the uh, this stuff right here? I wanna take you guys off of that. 
let QA handle that stuff. And you as well. Take take uh, Canvas 3D off of that one. Let QA handle that. Actually, yeah. Okay, so we're going to start our next application. So we have Canvas 3D Pro out on the market. We've got Canvas Direct out on the market. We're still trying to get this tool right here, which I guess we'll eventually get. Uh, I guess, can we patent it right now? No, we can't patent it until we get all the way. So let's develop a new thing. We're going to develop a new software, and we're going to see what we can do with this. So... We're going to go for not an original IP, but I'm thinking we're going to go for, we're going to start with the Canvas 2D since Canvas 2D Direct has been out for a little bit. So we're going to go Canvas 2D, original IP. We're going to go, it's going to be a sequel to Direct. Just because it has a good, good quality stuff and really active users. So it's going to be a sequel to that one. We're going to add, oh, I kind of really want to add, we could add a cinematic filter. <clears throat> excuse me we can add a cinematic filter that would be pretty nice like a little snapchat <laughs> kind of thing image compression oh but it's look how many look how much royalties it's so expensive 2d editor video codec where's video codec is that like gonna appear here once we get that because that's not currently something that that is here image compression 12 percent royalties though let's see if it's still still 100 percent interest we're just, ugh, <laughs> I don't want to, 12% royalties, that's a lot. That means if I sold a million dollars worth of that, 12% royalties would be roughly uh, $120,000, which is a lot of money, if I did that math correctly. So I don't, I don't want to do 12% royalties, that's just too much. Can I, what company has this? Let me, let me real quick check what company has, because I think I can buy that. So, and we have enough money, so I, I kind of really want to buy that. Where's our, we're looking for 2D editor. We're going to hop on over to Age Monday. Let's see if I can buy them. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, uh, deals? No, we're not looking for deals. We're looking for all companies, Age Monday. There it is. Age Monday. I want to see if I can buy them. Chart? Okay. I, I don't really understand how to use the chart, but uh, let's, let's see their details. What do you guys have? Age Monday. This, so the Okay, so this is how the stocks work, which I've never really understood how the stocks work in this game. Okay, looks like I just bought some stocks. Hurrah. Hip, hip, hurrah. I could... Oh, you know what? I think I'm going to buy... I think I'm going to buy them. If I click this button, I think I buy them because this will be majority share, right? Because I currently own 0%. How much did I put down? Jesus. I think I put down 29000 and I own $0 for that. I don't understand. Okay, but they, they have these two things which i really really want so i think i'm going to see if i can buy them by clicking this you have to own all the stocks before you can buy it out okay oh oh, oh my god our money's going down oh and we own all the stocks now can we purchase them do you want to take over age monday and its ip or make a subsidiary what is a subsidiary i don't understand what a subsidiary is oh no we should take them over i think we're going to steal Age Monday. Let's take over. You received one stocks, the rights to eight, 28 products, and two patents? Okay, now we're rolling. We just bought a company. This is crazy. I feel like I feel like a, a businessman. A businessman. We just bought a big company. All right, let's hop on over to 2D Editor. We're going to make ourselves a... a uh, oh, God, this is theirs, I guess. It's great, even. But it's got no active users. Okay, we're going to make it this including image compression and a cinematic filter, which means we're going to need three designers, five programmers, and two artists. So let me write that down, 352, 352, just so we can go back to our company and make sure that we have exactly that. So Canvas uh, Canvas Direct 2, I guess, yeah, we'll do Canvas Direct Pro, we could do. So it's basically a better version uh, with image compression and cinematic filters. So that's, that's a big thing, is image compression is huge. And cinematic, that's why I wanted Im image compression so much, because it's such a big thing. I mean, anytime you convert something to a JPEG or a PNG, that's all, com you're compressing the image. You're making it easier to send or, uh, with, different, with different codecs. This is a video codec, that's a bit different. But, but uh, let's, no, we don't want training team on that. We want Canvas 2. D. We have four programmers, two designers, and two artists, which means we need to hire one more designer and one more programmer. That shouldn't be a problem. So let's get that going. Let's make sure we have everything. Uh, which operating systems do we want? Only the best. These these three would be great. So let's get those. Dependencies, we don't need any. Two teams? No. Do we have training still working on this? Take them off. 
I think we're pretty good here. We, we can't do project management quite yet because I don't think our leader is back yet. So let's develop this. We're just going to hit develop there and we're going to let them kind of work on that. While we're doing that, let's hire a, a new, we need a new programmer with, we'll give it algorithm because I know that you really, that we really need algorithm on this project as well. Uh, see this little algorithm thing right there. So we're going to give them a high salary and search for everything. All right. We're looking for non-marketing. Get out of here. Canvas Studio. Looking for great. Yes, that's good. And you're 45. I like it. I'm going to hire you. Alvaro, welcome to the team. You should begin working immediately. It's funny. In real life, when you do something like this, we're going to hire a designer. When you do something like this, um, when you hire a new person, it takes a long time to bring them onto the team because they have to learn everything that's that needs to be known. You're, you're amazing for marketing, but we need Canvas 2D. Then, yeah, they need to learn everything that's already known by everybody else. So it takes a while to actually get someone uh, brought in and and uh, good with everything else. But in this game, it seems like it's immediate. Like they, there's no uh, buffer time. So we're gonna hire that person. Was that, what was his name? Brock? Brock. All right. I think we should be good for this. You, you'll begin in the morning. Uh, let's start the other one as well. So we need Canvas 3D. We need that one to start working immediately. So we're going to, well, do we have everything for 3D? Let's see. There's nothing out for 3D yet. So we're gonna go to 3D editor. We're going to make it a power stop. <laughs> 43 users. You guys were bad. Oh, but you have unavoidable marketing. That's pretty good. No, we're going to we're gonna make it another one of this. What are we going to call it, though? Canvas 3D Pro 2? We're going to call it Canvas. Uh, what year is it? 1994? I don't want to name it after the year. That seems tacky. We're going to call it Canvas 3D. Let's see what we can give it. Hang on. Uh, we can give it 2D editor. Let's. We could use our own, or we could use one that's... We want one that's kind of new. Canvas Direct is the newest and it's good and it's got a lot of users, prominent marketing. We definitely want uh, to use our own here. Canvas Direct, we're gonna be bringing in rendering because these are the things I think that it had last. We're gonna bring in physics, we're gonna bring in animation and particles, all of the stuff essentially. Let's, uh, let's call it Canvas 3D. So we have animation, so we're gonna call it Canvas 3D. Um, canvas, what are we gonna call it? Canvas 3D Flip. I want to call it flip because animation is kind of like flipping. Uh, Canvas 3D. It's got part. It's got a physics engine and a particle engine, which is huge, by the way, because that's that's essentially that's making it really good. That's that's the, what stuff today has, and we're only in 1994, so we're gonna call it Canvas 3D Flip. I think is what we're gonna call it, just to kind of uh, to kind of advertise that animation. The fact that it's got animations, or no, Canvas 3D Move. Uh, or I could just call it Canvas 3D Animate. Canvas 3D Studio. Studio, I like it. Because you would think that it's a 3D application, so Pixar and uh, DreamWorks, those those would be people that would use this because it's got a nice animation engine. So Canvas 3D Studio, I think is what we're gonna call it. Operating systems, only the best. Should we start working on I think we're too late on the operating system game. We could start working on one though because we have a lot of room, so we could hire uh, people to do this, but we're gonna call it this, this, that by Canvas 3D. How many people do you suggest? Five programmers and three designers, zero artists. We have five and, th no, we have, so we need two more programmers essentially, and we need them to be good at uh, some algorithm. So we'll hire one algorithm programmer and one code programmer, I think. So I think that'll be good. Are we good? Are we all set to go? I think we are. Let's make sure the price is pretty good. That's expensive. That's really bad, but you know what? It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Our current one's popular, so. Let's hit the develop button. No one is competent. Are you sure you want to continue? Yeah, don't worry. I'll, I'll get a competent person. We're good. So let's go in here. We're going to hire some people for our Canvas 3D. We're going to get a programmer uh, with algorithm. So algorithm and a high salary all the way up. Begin looking for our Canvas 3D team. And we have a great guy. I think great's going to be good. So we'll get great. And then you know what? Let's hire another. Let's hire two of these guys. Two algorithms. Yeah, let's hire Hiram. All right, that's looking pretty good. Let's go to the next day. You're heading for bankruptcy. What do you mean? I don't understand. Why Why are we heading for bankruptcy? Let's uh, speed things up a little bit. Oh, you know what? It probably noticed that this is all the money we spent buying over that company, I bet you. Yeah, it is. <laughs> oh, my God. 
stocks. Yeah, this is all the money we spent buying over the company, and that that's how that works. So, but no, we're fine. We're not heading for bankruptcy. It should be back in the green the next day. So let's speed things up here and let the next day roll on over. What are we gonna do with this room here? Oh well, yeah, marketing. Right, right. Let's get that done today, and then and then uh, that should be able to end the episode there. We'll, we'll migrate marketing, and then we should be good. Oh no, another company has finished researching video codec for the 2D editor before me. Which company was it? Which company researched it before me? I'm looking for the research thing. Uh, 2D editor, video codec, stick blade, LTD, and that's it. Oh no, we're gonna have to buy them again, aren't we? Can we buy their patents? Like in real life, you can buy someone's patents. I don't know if you can do that in this though. But that'd be super helpful. Let's, uh, where, where's our stocks? There, I swear there's a stocks area. Uh, here, finances? No, we're looking for stocks, yeah. Um, where's that company? What was it called? We're looking for Stickblade LTD. So let's take a look in our companies. I still have trouble finding everything. Stickblade LTD. There they are. They don't have very much in the bank. They're worth not that much. Honestly, we could buy them. They they don't have very many. Well, they have a lot of fans. How many do we have? Oh, we have a lot of fans. They have a they have a lot of fans. We have a lot of fans. But um, they're not bankrupt. They have one patent, the the exact one that I want. Thank you very much. Uh, they have ten products. Do we want them? Is the question. I I think we might because they have something that we really really need, which is that patent. And if you think about it, they have that patent, which means they'll only get uh, more and more. Um, they'll only get worth more because as people start to use that uh, that product, they're going to be making money. So we're buying them. We're buying these guys. We're going to lose all our money, but it's okay. We're taking them over. We're taking you over. I'm going to have to figure out what subsidiary means. If, if any of you guys know what subsidiary means, please post that down in the comments. That's something that goes beyond what I understand. Um, so I, I, All I know is takeover is you literally own the company. Subsidiary, I'm guessing it's like a puppet. Like a, you don't really own it. Well, like you own it, but they work for you or something. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but uh, if you guys know, please tell me in the uh, comments. Oh, wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, no. You guys aren't using the server, are you? Can I... Can I uh, Can I go back here? Nope, that's the name. That's changed name. Project details. I don't think I can tell them to start using that server. I'm not sure if I can. Oh, no. It's okay. It's okay. It'll be fine. It shall be fine. Let's keep an eye on this while we while we continue to work on other stuff. I'm going to work on this room and then I'll be right back. Welcome back. Here's our new marketing room as the people leave the building. But this is our new marketing room. It's kind of big. And you know what I did for this? I actually, even though this is a marketing room and not really a QA room, I actually looked up what a call center looks like. And this is what I came up with. This is what a lot of call centers look like. Uh, apparently on Google Images is a bunch of people sitting in very close proximity to each other with just a little divider between them So we've got like our little call center here And I like the idea of that because it looks it, a call a marketing center is basically a call center what they do is they they call um, Different people. Well, I, I would imagine that's what it is as a call center or at least that's what it might have been during this era where marketing was simply just uh, Calling calling people telemarketing and that sort of thing, but uh, but yeah, this is our this is our marketing call center currently in real life a marketing center is, is a lot more complex. It's more of a department. It's more of a marketing department where the, the a lot more a lot more tactics are used. For instance, you might find a big art studio would be your marketing department where they work on making trailers and that sort of thing for what you're doing, especially for something like Canvas 3D Pro. They, they would work on making cool images, maybe like some TV commercials, that sort of thing. So it would look a little bit less like this. Maybe there would be a call center, but there would also be some sort of like big studio where all this stuff would be made, where all this would be would happen. So, but but for now, our marketing center is merely just a bunch of people sitting in a room, calling people, asking if they want to use our product, or maybe calling different companies, asking if they want to advertise our product or anything like that. So that's that's our marketing room. We're gonna actually make this marketing switch team to marketing, and uh, we're gonna get some of our marketing people in here. Let's get them out of this room first because this room is a bit smaller, uh, and we need more. We need. We have more room now, so this is going to be phased out. Currently, we've phased out this room, this room, and this room. These have all been phased out currently, but we still need and, and these this room. Oh, we don't have a bathroom in here yet, do we? That's one other thing we have to do. We'll probably add a bathroom in right here or something. And I wish we had added one here so these guys wouldn't have to walk all the way through the lobby, but it's just something that we didn't think of, and, and it's unfortunate, but we will uh, do that a little bit later. But, uh, but yeah, so 
so the marketing is now going to be in here. Let's hire a couple of people for marketing before we end the episode. And then we're going to get these uh, fixed up so that we don't forget about it. Because we will forget if we leave it until next episode to do this stuff. So let's go ahead and um, hire some marketing people. We'll go for... Honestly, I'm going to get marketers with a low salary, I think is what we're going to do. We're going to get all the way up there. Begin looking. And we're looking for amazing compatibility with marketing. I like it. Great, 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 great. Okay, I think that should be enough. We have a lot of marketers now, so we should be able to get our marketing done a little bit faster. And anytime we want to do some sort of press release or anything like that, that should get done a little bit faster as well. I don't know if the marketing actually makes it better uh, or not, but let's speed up time. It says we're headed for bankruptcy. That's because we bought another company. Remember, we, whoa, our company was mentioned in regards to a takeover. Uh, we've been acquired by me for a dizzying that amount of money along with 10 original IPs. What are our IPs now, by the way, if we look for our, our software? I want to our releases the polyman view frame cut premium oh premium that's another buzzword i could add to the end of my stuff uh so i guess this is our our stuff what's our highest profit thing okay it's all of our stuff and then polyman view what are these game engines oh we have game engines now oh that's cool do we have any operating systems i wonder i'm looking down the thing i don't think we have any operating systems yeah no operating systems but whatever it's all good we've got game engines that's all the stuff that we acquired so let's let our people come back to work and we're going to let these finish up before we end the episode here. So I'm going to hit the develop on the right time. Getting ready. Oh, come on. You're trolling me. Boom. Got that one. Going for the second one. Remember, if we don't hit these in time, they start to actually drop, which is not great. We do not want that to happen. It's the end of the day, apparently. Oh, wait. Hang on. Canvas Direct Pro has reached the alpha, but still doesn't have any followers. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. Where is it? I don't know how many code units it requests. It says 26 code and five art. Okay, that'll be fine. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, we're just gonna let that roll then. Still says we're headed for bankruptcy. We're gonna accept all. Yep. It still says we're headed for bankruptcy, but we're not actually because we're in the green once again. Oh, right, get ready. Get ready to hit the button. We can't miss it. We can't screw this up. I'm watching that little algorithm ticker on the left. Once that reaches full, then we're good. Is it gonna take more than one day? Really? Because I don't think we have a designer for algorithm on this team. But it's fine. Pamela. Called in sick. That's fine. Whoa, hang on, hang on. A computer a computer is getting very slow and need, needs IT. Let's hire an IT guy. Hire IT support. Just one guy. He'll come in every day and check on the computers. And I think that'll be good. That'll be enough IT. We don't need we don't need that much. Oh, oh, you know what? What's in? What's 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 got it? A 3D editor? Yes. We get 6% royalties. We're definitely going to try to research this with our R&D and R&D 2 teams. Go. I'm going to let them do that as well. Uh, this thing. Boom. We're a little bit early on that, but I think it's going to be fine. Canvas 3D Studio has reached alpha. Yes, it has. How many code units do you want, by the way? Same amount, pretty much. 23. 23 to 24. Okay, that's going to be good. I guess next episode we'll work on trying to get these things done. Actually, this one's already halfway, pretty much. So we, we definitely have a good team working on Canvas 2D Pro, and I'm sure they like their new office. It's definitely a step up from the little cramped thing that was this, but uh, actually, did they only have, yeah, they only had small desks in this one. Now they have bigger desks, and it's probably really awesome. But uh, anyways, if you guys liked that episode, hit that like button, put your comments and your suggestions down below, and I'll see you guys in episode number 11. Wait, what? Whoa, what? Whoa, I did not take over a company. What are you talking about? Hang on. We received the right to 13 products in the, I didn't take them over. I didn't do that. <laughs> What happened? I didn't take over any companies. Wait, hang on, hang on. Let me go to companies real quick. I, I tried to end the episode, but then this happened. What did it say? Fly trials. I didn't do that. I didn't I didn't take over that company. Yeah, I don't know what just happened there. Maybe you guys know what happened. Help. Help me. We're not the most worth, but we're almost the most worth. I can't believe we just we just randomly took over a company by accident. I didn't do anything. It just kind of happened. Realistic hair. All right. See you guys next episode.